This is just gonna be a quick video teaching you how to graph lines, all right? So there's a few different reasons you might wanna graph it. Either they can ask you to graph a line in the exam, or else you might wanna draw a little sketch yourself just to picture the line in your head. That makes some questions a bit easier if you kinda of know where the line is. Um, and this is the quickest method to do it. So all you need is two points and you can draw the line. So I'll go down and start talking basically. So 4x minus 6y plus 12. So 4x minus 6y plus 12 is equal to zero. We need two points on this line if we wanna draw it. So we need two points and the easiest points to get are where it crosses the y-axis and where it crosses the x-axis. Y-axis, x-axis. So they're the easiest points to find. So if we count down on the y-axis, so here y is equal to six, y is equal to five, y is equal to four, and then go down y is equal to three, y is equal to two, y is equal to one, y is equal to zero, okay? At this point here, and anywhere along here, y is going to be equal to zero, yeah? So that means because it's two, one, zero, minus one, minus two, etc. So on the x-axis, y is equal to zero. So I'm gonna scribble that in. So on the x-axis, y is equal to zero. And then on the y-axis, so if we go from counting backwards along the x-axis here, so we have three, two, one, zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. So three, two, one, zero. Here, x is equal to zero. So anywhere on the y-axis, x is equal to zero. So this is the point we're gonna use when we're trying to find um, where it crosses the y and the x-axis. So I'll go yellow, and then scroll down. So I'm gonna say first that y is equal to zero. So that means we have four x minus six y plus 12 is equal to zero. If y is equal to zero, we have four x minus six multiplied by zero, right, bracket, plus 12 is equal to zero. So then again, four x plus 12 is equal to zero. Um, 4x is equal to minus 12, and x is equal to minus 3. So I'm going to go up here. So that means one of the points where it crosses the uh, the x-axis, so y is equal to 0 when it crosses the x-axis, so it's going to be at minus 3 and 0. So I'll make that point there. It's going to be our first point. Now all I need is the second point of the line. Um, I'll go bright blue. Here I'm gonna say x is equal to zero. So again, we're gonna have four x minus six y plus 12 is equal to zero. Um, and x is equal to zero, so it's gonna be four multiplied by zero minus six y plus 12 is equal to zero. It's minus six y plus 12 equal to zero. Minus six y is equal to minus 12. And y is equal to two in this case. So I'll go up, so x is equal to zero and y is equal to two. So x is equal to zero and y is equal to two. We have this point here, all right? So that's how to get the two points quickly. So uh, you wouldn't have to go through this. You'd, all you have to do is sub y is equal to zero in, get the x value, x is equal to zero, get the y value. Now you have your two points. So for example, you have zero and two, or else here you have minus three and zero and then you can form your line out of that. So I'll just draw this quickly to finish the question off. There we go there, and not that it starts there, I just, there we go, yeah? So our line's gonna look something like that. Um, if you did that quickly, it'd only take you a few seconds really, you can, you can almost do some of these in your head. Um, so draw, you can just draw these, uh, get the points quickly, draw a quick, uh, axis doesn't have to be as accurate as that and just a quick sketch it shouldn't take you very long at all and it can help you uh, really help some questions when you can visualize the line so when you can draw the line it just helps a lot so that's how to graph lines join us in the next video for we're going to talk about lines that are parallel to the axis okay so lines that look like this so what's the equation of those sorts of lines so we will see you then and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the videos